Coach Miller. Coach, thank you. Next up from Indiana, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, the Crimson Hawks, Tom McConnell. Sixth season during the uh, Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference Tournament, Coach McConnell became the school's all-time wins leader. And uh, this is the second straight and third all-time appearance for IUP in the Elite Eight. Coach, congratulations on getting here. Opening statement, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's a great honor and a privilege uh, to be here. And um, the two words that I keep using or coming back to most often are um, humbled and thankful um, for the experience. Um, humbled because we know how challenging it is and we have great respect for the PSAC um, conference that we play in and just to come out of there and to be able to represent the Atlantic region is, is very special and thankful as a coach to be able to um, coach such a special group of young ladies and to be able to make this, this journey with them. Um, I feel like I've had a front row seat to, uh, you know, some pretty special moments um, in the careers of some uh, special young ladies and, and their families. So um, I feel very fortunate. And um, the thing that I'm asked most often in the last couple of days, are you surprised that you've been able to come back? And I always answer it this way. We, um, we lost three really good seniors last year really good and so we weren't sure but um, one of the things that we adopted several years ago and we tried to really pour into our players on a daily basis is our theme has become no limits no limits to try to take the limits off of what we can do and what we can be and uh, we, we talk a lot about that it hangs in our locker room and right before the season started um, I was going to visit my daughter and her family in Miami, her husband's with the uh, Coast Guard. And so right before we were going there, our assistant said to me, you know, I think we need a theme for this team, for this year, within our theme of no limits. I said, I think you're right. That's good. We'll do that. And so I said, I'll think about it while we're away. So as we got ready to leave, I saw a book by Tyler Perry called Hire is Waiting. I said, I like that. Let's go with higher is waiting. That sounds good. And uh, then we got to Miami, and I went to the ocean with my son. And uh, we're standing in 80 degrees, and it's water, and it's up to here. But there's seaweed everywhere. And I'm like, this is Miami? I don't, I don't know if I like this. And all of a sudden, two young guys came running out. They were a little better shaped than I am. And they went further out to where there was no seaweed, and the water was beautiful. And I said, that's it. That's it. We're going to go with go further. That's what we got to do. And then um, on the way home on the plane, I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and I'm watching the row of, for the pop and the peanuts to come down. And I, all I want is those peanuts. And all of a sudden, the plane, we hit turbulence and the plane did everything but hit the ground. And it was bumping and it was going everywhere. And all of a sudden, the pilot came on and he said, uh, you know, he said, uh, stay in your seats. We're going to uh, rise higher and uh, take it to 35,000 feet. And I said, did anybody else hear that? <laughs> rise higher. I got back and I said to our staff, it's rise higher. That's what we're going with. And so we started to make our poster with no limits, rise higher. And uh, three weeks into preseason, we're getting ready to do a a gathering with supporters of our, our women's basketball team. And my assistant says to me, uh, you know, the players don't like rise higher. What do you mean they don't like rise higher? I had a field of dream moments. I heard a voice on a plane. It's rise higher. It's got to be. I said, what do they like? She said, never satisfied. So at the gathering, I asked the 35 people who were there. I said, no, never satisfied, rise higher. It was 35 to zero, never satisfied. So that's what hangs in our locker room right now. Never, no limits, never satisfied. And um, I think they've embodied that, of just of really um, believing in what they could do and what they can be. And when you have a veteran group and an experienced group, they don't get too high or too low. And um, so, uh, 
yeah, we're, we're thankful and, and we're humbled for the experience and looking forward to uh, the opportunity to compete this week. So if there's any other coaches out there that need slogans and poster boards, you've already got them made up, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're just waiting for you somewhere in a closet. <laughs> any questions for uh, Coach McConnell? Coach, you always, every year we talk about your, your senior class, and you always, you know, put a lot of pressure on them, I think, because they're, they're your, obviously your team leaders. This year's no different with, with the five who have come back, who have tasted that Elite Eight success, made it to the national semifinals. What, how valuable have they been over the last couple weeks through the PSCC tournament, through the regional tournament? They've been invaluable all year and a really special group. And I think special teams, and I think everybody here would probably speak to this, um, when you have a group of players and they take ownership of it and for it, something special happens. And you reach a point where you can just step back a little bit and you keep just pointing them in the direction they want to go. You remind them of what they want to do and where they want to go. And I think we've reached that point um, with this group. There were times in practice year, we have five new players, where we would make a teaching point, And then I would just step back because one of our seniors, they were teaching. They were correcting. They were really mentoring to our, our younger players. And I just think it speaks very highly of, of them. And so, yeah, it's a special group. Coach, you're just allowing 54 points a game defensively. That's ninth best in the country. What's been the defensive mentality of your group this year? Um, I just think they're, they're dialed in and they, they, they love to compete. And, um, you know, they know the importance of it. They like to run and they know in order to run, you've got to be able to get stops and, and rebound the basketball. And, you know, they're uh, – so it's just, you know, just they, they just have a mindset and they know – they know that it's important, and um, you know, I, I, I just got to say this. I turned on the video, and one of the things that's great about this time of year is to be able to turn on synergy, and just watch a team that you've never seen play before, and now study them and get to know them and see what makes them great and what makes them special. And when I turned on the video to watch Azusa Pacific. Uh, the first thing that jumped off the screen, TJ had mentioned, was their length. Their length. I really, I had to go back and I thought maybe, maybe I hit the wrong button. I think this is Arizona. I think this is Arizona State, but it wasn't. And as you watch them more and more, you get to see um, that it's more than length. It's skill. It's a very skilled, versatile basketball team that can shoot the basketball. That. Um, can score inside, and they do a lot of really, really good things. It's a well-coached team, and they, they really give you a lot of different looks and sets to put those skilled players in a position to score. So um, defensively, that'll be a, a real challenge for us tomorrow. Any other questions for Coach McConnell? Thank you, yeah, Coach. What, what kind oh. of defense? <laughs> <laughs> if, I said individual time afterwards, all right? Next up from Lubbock Christian University and the Lady Chaparrales is Steve Gomez, 16th season, another program that